In this video, I will perform a nonlinear static analysis to study the large deflection effects of a loaded plate. Full details of this exercise are on page 374 of the link PDF in the video description below. The first thing I'll go ahead and do is create a directory called problem 9 and I'll start Patran. For this example, there are no units. So here, click new to create a new Patron database and save it to the directory you just made. Click OK on the form on the right. Create your geometry by going to this tab and use the XYZ method to make a, a surface. Since we'll model just a quarter section of the entire plate, my surface is to have a width of 100, a height of 100, and zero in the z direction. So click apply here. Now you'll see a surface here. Create your material by going to the properties tab and click isotropic. Your material name is matte. Under input properties, your Young's modulus is 2E11, and your Poisson ratio is 0.3. Click OK. Click apply. Your material has been created as shown here. To apply this material to the surface, go to the 2D properties group and select shell. Here, call this property. Under input properties, select the material you just created and your thickness is one. Click OK. Under select application region, select this surface. Add it, OK, and apply. You see property set property is created. To apply your boundary conditions, go to this tab. Here, under Displacement Constraint, your new set name should be fixed. And for your input data, you are to fix translation in the x, y, and z direction, and rotations about the x, y, and z. Click OK. For your application region, I just wish to select curves. So click this curve icon here. Select this curve and add it, select this curve, remove it if you have to, and add it. Click OK and apply. You see the boundary conditions have been applied. Create a new one and call this one Sim X. Under input data, you wish to prevent translation in the comma y direction, comma, blank, and then the fourth direction, so zero, comma, comma, and close. So here, translation about in the y is allowed, and translation in the third direction is allowed. Rotation about the fourth, or about the x, is not allowed. Rotation about the fifth and sixth directions are allowed. The fifth and sixth directions are the Y and Z rotations. Click OK for your application region. Make sure the curve is selected here. Select this top curve, surface 1, 2, add it, OK, and apply. Make a new one called Sim Y. Under input data, prevent translation in the X, which is the one direction, and leave everything else blank prevent translation in the fifth direction. So the one is fixed and the fifth is fixed. Click OK for your application region, select this left curve, add it, OK, and apply. Now you'll see it's uh, sort of difficult to read this, so you can go to the Home tab, turn on the Model Tree. Under LBCs, you can turn off, the say, the fixed boundary condition or the sum y and you can better read the values here and one last thing I have to do is apply my pressure so here click pressure call it pressure since my elements will be two-dimensional I will switch this to 2d under input data I will apply a top pressure of 2e4 click OK for your application region select this surface or you select this surface icon here. Select this surface, add it, OK, and apply. 
So now you can see the pressure is added. Let me go ahead and mesh this. So here under surface meshers, we have the option of using quad four, quad five, and so on sorts of elements. Uh, I'll use quad eight. Select this surface and apply. Or if I want to refine the mesh, I can select a global edge length of 20, uncheck this automatic calculation, and hit apply. You'll be asked to remesh this, and you say yes for all. Now the mesh is smaller. I can minimize the model browser tree and move over to my analysis section. Here, click analyze entire model. Under solution type, we won't be doing a linear static analysis. We'll be doing an implicit nonlinear analysis. So make sure this is selected or bubbled. Make sure the solution sequence says 400. Under solution parameters, review the results here or the options and make sure nothing here. Make sure the defaults are, are here. Click cancel. Click OK there. Under subcases, modify your default subcase. And under subcase parameters, turn large displacements off by selecting none. Or actually leave this on, but turn no, but turn follow, follow. Turn your follower loads off. Click OK and apply. Cancel here. One thing I want to do is go back to solution type under solution parameters. And under results output format, I want to make sure I have XDB checked. Click OK. OK. OK here. And apply to submit the job. Let me minimize the or hide the model tree. Under analysis, I import my XDB file and apply. Let me clean this up. When I go to the results tab, look at my quick plot here. I want to look at the displacements translational in the Z direction, and I'll select deformation to actually show the deformation. And I click apply. I get a negative 2.21 inches in the middle of the plate when I compare this to the value I should get. For the quad 8, that is in fact what I do get, 2.21 here. If I were to use quad 4 elements, I would actually get a 1.2, not a 2.28, or 1.26 and 2.1. Make sure to save your file, and this concludes this example.